This is a 2019 Ram 1500 Rebel. Today we're working with our friends at Apple Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in beautiful Shakopee, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And today, what do we got, Nathan? We have got a 2019 Ram 1500, but it's the Rebel Edition. Yes, it is. And hey folks, if you want to keep up to date on new cars, SUVs, and trucks, and you want to know all the latest vehicle technologies, and you like cool collector stories, Take a second to hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right, starting with the uh, driver's information center. The area that we're gonna talk about, of course, is this area right in here, because that's the digital area. Everything else is analog. So up here in the left, you've got a compass. And that's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of, there's a little plastic line that kind of guards that and puts it in a separate corner. You got temperature up here, outdoor temperature. You do have a digital gauge down here that's for your oil uh, temperature. Excuse me, that is for your oil pressure. And over here is for your battery. And then up here you've got a screen shows you your digital miles shows you your digital miles per hour. I love it that you get the rebel look in there. Okay? And then over here you've got a gas icon here. Of course it's telling me a little bit low on fuel. Um and down here is telling you how many miles you have left in your range. And that's just cool because that just stays there. So we'll zoom in a little bit and give you a little better picture of it. Hopefully you can see that. I love how the odometer down here, I mean, it is so realistic looking, but it's all digital. I just absolutely love it. Okay. I had said earlier that you can control all this stuff with these buttons here, and that is true. So we're going to use these cursors to control everything in the driver's information center. Um, I will say this is your, you know, turn your phone on, turn your phone off. This is your voice command. And with this vehicle, if you press and hold, it will, um, if you have an Apple phone, it'll access Siri for you. Hey, but there's just a ton of stuff you can do through voice command in this vehicle. So you really get a hands-free experience. All right, so right here, we're gonna use the up and down arrows and here we go. Look at the left side over here, right there. As I go through, all the little symbols change, right? So these are your basic menus and you can d delve into them further if you want or you can just kind of um, scroll through them. You can see what it's called when I, when I do the cursor. See, fuel economy, vehicle info, so we're going to stay on vehicle info and we're going to press OK. Um, do you notice that there's now a whole bunch of dashed lines down here with a little red light? Now you use your left arrow or your right arrow and you scroll through the different pictures available to you, the different pieces of information. And there's just a lot. And when you get to the end, you click it again and go back to the beginning. So you can kind of see what you're going to visually here or up there by word. So let's go up again, over here's speedometer. Press okay for kilometers per hour. Okay, press okay for miles per hour. Very as simple as that. Press okay to enter screen setup. All right, ooh, see now you can change the different areas. So upper left, right up here. So I'm gonna click okay, and I'm gonna go, hmm, I can change it between compass, outside temp, time, range to empty, average economy, current economy, trip A, trip B, oil pressure, oh my goodness. Whew. 
Okay, I mean, it's just like an endless list here. So let's just, uh, it says to push the left arrow to exit, and that's what I'm gonna do so I don't change it. But you can go to the upper right, and you're gonna have, press okay, and you're gonna have the same choices. So you can really customize what's going on in those screens. So I'm gonna go left to exit, lower left. <laughs> I mean, that is just way awesome that you can customize those little tiny corners. Okay, and uh, then you can, of course, do, um, let's see, right side, current gear, odometer, favorite menus, the center one, okay? And now you can do what you want in the center. And of course, we're just gonna, we're, we're just gonna leave it as um, the miles per hour, but, Okay, let's go up more one. This is where you can get your messages from your phone. If I go up another one, this is audio. Okay, so you can uh, press the OK button here. And it doesn't give you anything to, to, to change, but on the back of the steering wheel, on the left and the right, you've got some buttons that will change uh, stations and volume. Volume is on the uh, right side and stations is on the left and sources. Okay, so I'm gonna just continue scrolling here. Oh, here we are at, um, um, trip, trip info. So I do have a couple screens here I can see. So trip A and a trip B. All right. So basically, um, you use the up and down arrows to scroll through your menu and you can either look here or look up here because it will tell you in both places. One's a picture, one's the actual word. Okay. Uh, if it gives you a line down here, let me get it, get to a better spot here. Ah, uh, there we go. And you, you see a red a red dot and a bunch of dashes. That means you have different screens available. And then you just use the left and right arrows to scroll to them. Occasionally, it tells you to push OK because then you need to enter something. Press OK. So I press it, and it switches to kilometers per hour. Press it again, switches to miles per hour. So just way awesome. So customizable and a beautiful looking screen. It is really, really sharp. Okay. Then moving over here to the infotainment screen. All right, first of all, um, let's just start by saying that basically th there's a lot of ways you can you, you can have information on the screen. It's so incredible. Um, right now I am on the apps, but basically down here will be a set of small icons that you can click on to access screens. It holds seven icons. You can change the icons. You can change the order of the icons. You can customize it, okay? So let's just take a look a little bit at uh, some of the things up here. Okay, I already mentioned the physical controls for uh, your uh, temperature settings. Okay, you can change the mode. You can also just click on it. All right, and you can, of course, just slide it to change the temperature if you want. Okay, you can look at your heated controls here. So you have your heated seats. I love the little red stuff that comes out. You can look at your uh, mirror dimmer. You can, and then here's a passenger heated seat backup camera if you want. You can look that right on. This does have dynamic swivel lines. Okay, and then if you press the magnifying glass, then you get right down by your hitch. Now, I do wish they wish, would leave that hitch line in there, but at least you get a magnified view right by your hitch. Okay, all right. And now, let's to get out of this, I'm going to press the X button up here. Okay, and then I'll press the X button. You notice how I have to kind of have two screens here. I also have auto temperature controls up here. I mean, there's just there's so much on here. Oh wow. Okay, you have a home button screen right here, and you have a gear settings right here. Okay, there's your clock. There's your um, Sirius XM channel you're on, and your outdoor temperature. All right, let's just go over this. Okay, so down here, I have my media. And I can select my source. And this does, again, have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. If you plug in, it's got Bluetooth. It's got Series I free. Um, I mean, basically, you control everything with that voice command button on the steering wheel. Okay, AM, FM, you got your USB uh, ports here. Okay, and then, you, of course, have stations across here. Okay, um, you can change channels here. Okay, and you have favorites. You can, there are no favorites because we're not, we haven't used it enough, okay? Uh, there's your audio button. 
bounce and fade and I and, and, and I love this. Okay, so if I go over here, I'm just kind of dragging it. Right? This is this is where it's gonna go, is where I'm dragging it. Now I'm just gonna put it back into the center because that's where I want it. Well, I'm gonna try to put it back in the center. There we go. You've got an equalizer down here. Okay, you have got surround sound, which I it's not on right now. Um, and then you can slide down for more uh, menu items. But I mean, what a beautiful large screen, easy to grab. Uh, it's just so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna continue on. So these, these apps are completely customizable as, to, as far as what you have down here. They just will replace another one down here. So here I go, I'm gonna take my Wi-Fi hotspot and I'm gonna drag it over my backup camera. And there I go, see? Is as easy as that. If I want to rearrange the order, I just take the climate one, click on it. And I want it over here, and they'll switch places. That one will move over. That one jumps over us. So this one kind of stays right where it's at. You do have two pages of apps. So there is the second page, and I and uh, I, I'm just going to touch on a, on a, a couple of these. Um, first of all, you can pair your phone in here. Um, you can look at your Bluetooth studies for your phone in there. Um, but travel link, um, travel link is so cool. Um, so if you don't have it, you do get five years, I believe of a subscription, um, that comes with the price of the car. So you want to look up fuel prices, just click on it and it'll give you fuel prices. You decide, Hey, I'd like to go to that station. You click on it. And you click either call or go now or add it to favorites. You can also look at uh, fuel types. Okay, it says it's got regular. Uh, and then you can have, uh, uh, again, you can set up favorites. Okay, let's say, let's keep going back. Let's see, you want to see weather map. Okay, so you can look at right now, it's not going to show anything. Uh, it's a clear sky right now. Radar, fronts, and storms. Okay. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's so incredible. You can have it right on your car and you get that for five years is, is I'm pretty sure that's a pretty standard subscription. And I believe, I believe that's what it is. Double check with your uh, sales agent to, to see if it's different. But at this time it, it's, it's five years. Um, you can see movie listings and then you can click on and get directions to go. You can go down here and just get the weather forecast current three and six hour five day you know it's just so this this is really neat you can get sports scores you can traffic um it's just a really really neat um app to have um so let's click on home button here now going to the home button it actually takes some of these buttons here and throws them up on the screen for you so here I got, and they call them cards. So here I got media, comfort, navigation, phone, and travel link. And then a bottom card, and I can select one of those. That way the top screen does one thing and the bottom screen does another. So I'm going to do, top screen is going to be nav. And the bottom screen is going to be media. Okay. Now, it's not showing me. Let's see if I do recent, see if it... Uh, There we go. So I've now split my screen into like three. So I've got the map, I've got this uh, media player down here, and then I've got my little icons right here. Um, just, oh my word, this is so awesome that you can customize it in so many ways. All right, and that is basically the infotainment screen.